Module 3, Lesson 3, Objective. Demonstrate understanding of area and perimeter formulas by solving multi-step real-world problems. Let's say the vocabulary together. Area, perimeter, sum, product, formula, rectangle. In order to find the area and perimeter of a rectangle, we need to use these formulas. Area equals length times width. And then to find the perimeter of a rectangle, you need to use this formula. Perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. The rectangular projection screen in the school auditorium is 5 times as long and 5 times as wide as the rectangular screen in the library. The screen in the library is 4 feet long with a perimeter, so that's important, of 14 feet. So what is the perimeter of the screen in the auditorium? So we've circled all our numbers, we've uh, boxed in what it's telling us to do, and we've underlined the question. So this question is asking us to find the perimeter of the screen in the auditorium. So this is our unknown, the rectangular projection screen in the auditorium. So this is the most information that we have uh, about the screen in the library. We know it is 4 feet long and the perimeter is 14 feet. So we need to find the width of the screen in the library. So I know that the length is 4 feet. And then I know that the perimeter is 14 feet. So I need to find out the width of this. So remember the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is simply adding up all your sides. So if this side is 4 feet, then I automatically know that this side will also be 4 feet. So 4 plus 4 will give me a sum of 8. Next, I need to subtract 14 minus 8, and then that will give me these two sides. So 14 minus 8 would equal 6. Now I can't just put 6 over here. I have to split it up into 2. So I'm going to divide 6 up into 2, which will leave me with 3 feet on this side. And then I know that this side is 3 feet, so automatically I know this side will be 3 feet. So now I know that the projection screen in the auditorium is five times as long and five times as wide. So if I just take four times five and three times five, that'll give me my dimensions for my projection screen in the auditorium. So four times five gives me a product of 20. Three times five gives me a product of 15. So you can see in our example right here, so all we're doing is we are making this 5 times as long, which gives us 20, and then making this 5 times as long, which gives us 15. 5 times 3 equals 15, 5 times 4 equals 20. If you remember to find the perimeter of a rectangle, you need to use our formula perimeter equals 2 times length plus width. So all we need to do is fill in our variables with our length and our width. So I know that perimeter equals 2 times 15 plus 20. So always do what's inside the parentheses first. 15 plus 20 gives me a sum of 35. So now I'm left with 2 times 35. 2 times 35 gives me a product of 70. So always
always remember to label your units and always remember to restate your question so the perimeter of the auditorium screen is 70 feet the width of Kellen's rectangular tent is 5 feet the length is twice the width Kellen's rectangular air mattress measures 3 feet times 6 feet if Kellen puts the air mattress in the tent how many square feet of floor space will be available for the rest of his things we're gonna box in how many so how many square feet of floor space will be available for the rest of his things so I know if the width is five feet and then I know that the length is twice the width so five times two would give me a product of ten so the length would be ten feet so here is the layout of his tent. So next I need to figure out how much his air mattress takes up. So it's three feet by six feet. So three feet is less than five and six feet is less than ten. So if I draw a rectangular for his air mattress, this is the space that it would take up. So this is his air mattress and this is his tent. Now, let's answer our question. How many square feet of floor space will be available for the rest of his things? So I need to figure out how much area is less left for the rest of his things. So if you remember, to find the area of a rectangle, the formula is area equals length times width. So first, let's find the total area of the tent. Plug in your 10. For your length and plug in your 5 for your width. 10 times 5 will give me a product of 50. So the tent has 50 square feet. Next, let's find the area of our sleeping mattress. Plug in your 6 for your length and plug in your 3 for your width. 6 times 3 gives me a product of 18. So now I know the total area of the tent is 50 square feet and the total area of the mattress is 18 square feet. So now I, now I need to see what is left over after the air mattress is put in. So I will need to set up a simple subtraction problem and subtract my total square feet of my air mattress from the total square feet of the tent. So it would be 50 minus 18 which would give me a difference of 32. So I know that I have 32 square feet left over. So if I were to restate my question I would say there will be 32 square feet of space left in the tent. Thanks for watching today.